All right, what's up everyone? In the last video, we got my car ready for winter. In this video, we gotta fix the transmission. I did some donuts and some mud. Which I've done plenty of times, but I wanted to test the wheels and see how durable the plastic dip was. And on the drive home, it was not happy. So I do have a spare trans, but we're gonna go over what things we're gonna try first. And then hopefully we don't actually have to pull the trans. So. Let's just get to it. I actually made a Facebook post and everyone was like, don't do donuts, don't do donuts, which I guess I understand, but I mean, that's all part of the fun. So I expected something to eventually happen this soon. Not really, but it happened. So we're going to get that taken care of. Before we get to work, I'm going to pull the Miata behind the foreigner because I have uh, like a real idea or a short. I have a video idea. So I want to film the Miata and the foreigner together. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll get to work. So yeah, I just got all the shots I needed. The Miata started to overheat, so I'm gonna let it cool down for a minute and then I'm gonna pull it in and then we'll get started on the 4Runner. Also, the sunset. And then look at this. Before I even touch this transmission, I'm gonna drain the fluid. I'm gonna replace the shift solenoid. I'm gonna add shutter fix and all new fluid. Hopefully that makes a difference. If that doesn't, then we'll come over here and we'll start um, tearing this transmission apart. So I'm gonna start draining the fluid right now. I already did this once, I replaced the filter and uh, I did about five and a half quarts. So. so this is what it looks like with the pan off. So yeah, I'm gonna throw on this new solenoid and all new fluid and the shutter fix, and hopefully that works. Oh! Oh my God. All right, I just got the solenoid in now. I just gotta clean up the pan and we should be good to put it all back together and test it out. So I'm gonna show you all that now. That's not good. There's like almost a hole in my pan. It looks like something got shot through it. Right here. I just got this pan off. Now I'm gonna basically do the same process you guys just saw, clean up this pan. And then I'm going to compare the two and I'm going to choose the best pan. So I just finished up everything. I'm just waiting for the transmission to warm up so I could check the fluid level. And then after that, we're gonna go for a test drive and hopefully, hopefully it's all good. So stay tuned. I had to go on short little drives just to get the fluid warmed up so I could check the level. But this is gonna be like the first actual test drive. So I never really explained what it was doing. Basically, it would like slip out of mostly fit. I mean, it feels better. I guess maybe I just have PTSD. It feels a lot better, but I can't tell if it's slipping a little bit. I don't know. I guess I'll know on the drive home, so. A lot of cleanup to do. So I'm gonna get to that. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, hopefully we're in snow in the next video and not back in the shop. So thank you again. Bye. Okay, bye. I don't know why I was trying to say that, but yep, transmission. I got a lot of cleanup to do.